Hello everyone, welcome to my NASDAQ channel, a YouTube channel focused on cyber security technologies used in my daily IT life. Today's video, I'm going to show how to use an open source remote desktop software X2Go to log into your Linux server. X2Go is a Linux version remote desktop software. As we know, we have RDP in Windows world. Previously, in my videos, I would show you how to use in XRDP to remote log into your Linux server with RTP port 3389. The beauty for X2Go is you don't need to use another extra port. It's still using SSH port port 22. Encrypted session has been wrapped into the SSH session. So let's start it. First, we're going to create in our virtual machine. I'm using Microsoft Azure. And then going to create in a new test resource group. Virtual machine name Linux. Spend to one. I'm going to select the smaller size virtual machine for testing. I'm going to use in a password. I'm going to allow SSH port 22. Others will be default selection options. Let's create it. Deployment succeeded. Let's go to resources. We need to get all this public IP. So here is our topology we're gonna use. We have a Ubuntu server, which we're gonna install X2Go server package. The public IP 40.87.16.109. We're gonna have Windows 10 client to remote access to this Ubuntu server. This SSH port opened. Opened. Um, so now we're gonna do the Ubuntu server login, Ubuntu server and um, installing the x 2 go We're using our remote SSH client to login to this server. We're going to do APT update first to update our system. System has been updated. Uh, next step is install Ubuntu desktop. By default, when you install Ubuntu server, it's uh, only command line interface. We want to have a desktop for our remote uh, login.
it's also going to take a while. I believe XFCE has been installed. Now, next step is installing S2Go server. Okay, it's ready. Now we are gonna install X2Go client on this Windows 10 machine. You can download a client. X2Go has a um, different kind for Mac machine, for Windows, for Linux. So just need to download X2Go for MS Windows. It's pretty easy to install a client. Click next, next install finish double click X to go client and then we're gonna create a session That's our server IP. Allow access, allow access. Most login. And we will do maximize. Okay. Double click. And we're going to type in our password. And we're gonna do connect to it. Survey is on now. Do you trust this host key? Yes. Okay, allow access. It's starting in the background. It's unable to execute start KDE. Uh, we need to change that from the KDE environment to XFCE, which is we installed, and then we can try it again. So we got the welcome screen. So basically we logged in, remote logged in, use default config, system program problem. Do you want to report to now? Like we can cancel it. So we also have uh, got an upgrade available uh, notification. Uh, let, ask me later. So as we can see, we already logged in using X2Go client. We can try to make it larger, maximize it. We can try to access uh, YouTube. It's working beautiful. It's a little bit slow, but you can see 
we can hear the sound. The voice is you uh, X2 Go can be able to support the printer sound as well. So those two has been supported well, and also X2 Go is um, fastest remote desktop solution, much faster than RTP solution, which I recorded a video before. That's all. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank <laughs> you.